It's not often that you see yellow cabs in Brooklyn. Of the 13,587 medallion cabs in New York City, they're all concentrated in one borough, Manhattan. But in this particular neighborhood in Brooklyn, you can see cabs everywhere, lining the blocks, street after street. When you look inside, there's no drivers. So what are all these cabs doing here? The yellow cab is an icon of New York City. In 1937, the Haas Act was introduced, creating what's known as the medallion system, which regulates pricing and limits the number of taxis allowed on New York City streets. These medallions are licensed by the Taxi and Limousine Commission, or TLC. No yellow cab can drive without one. Because only a finite number of taxi medallions exist, historically their price has steadily increased over time, peaking at over $1 million in 2013. But that price has since plummeted due to the growing popularity of ride-hailing apps like Uber. The number of Ubers has now surpassed yellow cabs in New York City. This has left many yellow cab dispatchers in an unprecedented predicament, having a surplus of medallion taxis, but not enough drivers to drive them. At McGinnis Management, a dispatcher in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, the surplus is so large that it's spilled into the streets. We met up with Mel Plout, a former yellow cab driver who took us through what neighbors have begun to refer to as a taxi graveyard. So they have all this overflow because they just don't have drivers coming to take them out. So they just park wherever they can find a spot, basically yeah. move it around. Yeah. Because there's one even right down this residential street right here yeah. at the gas station. Yeah, they're all over the place. I mean, think about like, Two years ago on a Friday afternoon, people were like clawing each other's eyes out for a yellow cab. You know, like on the streets of New York, you're like, I, get out of my way, it's my cab, right? That's like the biggest rush hour of the week. Yeah. And now, nobody wants these cabs. This is the new normal. So and then, every single yellow cab has medallion fixed to the hood. Yeah. What is the medallion system? This is a piece of tin, but this thing is the one thing that allows this car to pick up a person hailing for a ride on the streets. And Uber isn't beholden to having to have a finite number of cabs, so they've kind of opened up the Oh pool. yeah, I mean, it's the same, they, they're doing the exact same thing that gypsies did in the 60s, right? So Uber, Lyft, whoever else are coming in and undercutting the taxi rates and each other's rates also to compete for passengers. Cabs now can't compete with that. That's the other reason they're sitting here today, right? Because the city says, this is what you charge, no more, no less. And I think Uber's biggest advantage is the schedule and flexibility, which they brag about all the time. It's the hugest piece. It's like, you can show up whenever you want. You can drive just during rush hour when there's lots of business. Nobody took them as seriously as they take them now. Drivers are switching to Uber and droves, but for some, Yellow cabs are still the preferred option. I have to work a little more hard than before because of high competition. Competition with application-based taxi service, like Uber, I can name it, a few other companies, Lyft, but I'm not against them. We all have the right to drive. Three years ago when I was driving, I would go on a Friday night and I would make like three, $400 for myself. So that's total five something. With the lease, I would give the garage, and that was good. I would only go to work for like two days, make like $1,000 in college is like so much money. But now if I go, the max I can probably make is 200. So now like my profit decreased by $300, so I don't make as much money now. So yeah, Uber has a big impact on Yellow Cab. Is the Yellow Cab gonna be able to survive when people are just using Uber to hail cars? You know, my hope is that there's that street hail doesn't die because it's a New York tradition. You know, you don't have to have your phone with you. You can still pay in cash, but I think it'll change. And I think it has to change. And I think the industry has to adapt. And if these big medallion owners don't figure it out, and if they don't get a little bit of help, like from loosening regulations perhaps, then maybe, yes. I think there's too much uh, invested in this industry on, on both sides, but certainly on the yellow side, that it, it's not going to die. They just have to figure out ways to get the drivers to come back. Uh, I, I'll give you a very fine answer. Yellow medallion taxi never dies. <laughs> the yellow cab is not dead yet. We've been at this lot all day and drivers have 
come in and out to get their yellow cab to go out and pick up passengers. But as Uber expands into things like self-driving cars, it seems to stand to reason that unless the yellow cab doesn't adapt, sites like the one here at McGinnis are only going to become more common.